Did anyone else notice that line about the vegetables? They just slid right in there. Lots of vegetables to keep me healthy and strong. Welcome back to the channel. I'm the Fit Cosplayer, your bodyweight trainer for cosplayers, gamers, and nerds. If that's what you're into, then definitely subscribe so you can stay updated on all the workout videos and Power Ranger videos <laughs> that I've got coming out for you. In today's episode, we're reviewing Power Rangers Dino Fury, episode four. That's right, guys, today, whoo, the bleed, bleed and crack. <laughs> Green and black rangers are here. Ooh, I'm so excited. I don't know about you, but I've been waiting. Yo, they're mind blowing. They're, they're great. The green and black rangers, good job Hasbro. Hasbro, you keep impressing me. Great job. Uh, <laughs> let's keep this train up. You've, you, it's like a roller coaster ride we're on. So at any moment now, you, you can just drop. Um, but please don't, we want this to just keep going. Um, and then, you know, give us some, some loop to loops and all of that, but don't let us drop. Please Hasbro, I'm begging you. You're doing so well so far to the episode. <laughs> so quick recap of the episode. Then I'm going to go into a whole bunch of stuff. This episode was amazing. Like hands down. We, I think we can all agree. Can we all agree? Can, can we all agree on this? We can all agree. This was an amazing episode. So the Green and Black Rangers show up. Zato's trying to get a job and he goes up against the Black Ranger. <laughs> He's not the Ranger yet. Um, there's definitely, maybe it's just me, but I'm sensing a trope here. Uh, I don't know why I didn't notice it before, but I feel like every Black Ranger is something like this. The Black Ranger seems to be this cool, aloof, you know, like, oh, I don't care enough about your problems, but I care enough to involve myself kind of guy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so I don't know, maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe I'm the only one that sees it. And he's just like the, the cool punk rocker kind of guy who's always different, you know, like he sits in the corner, but like he's really the coolest guy in the room kind of vibe. That's, that's what Javi is. He's playing a harmonica in 2021. Okay, why not? A cool harmonica. Cut. He's playing it and you know, Jane says, Javi has to go get the orb. Ravi, Ravi? Not Ravi. <laughs> What's his name again? Zato. Javi has to get the orb. Zato has to interview the javelin girl. Uh, it was, turns out to be easy. All the characters had really great interactions in this episode. Uh, Zato goes to her and, you know, he's so innocent and he tells her that he's, you know, he used to be a knight and fight dragons and here's how you throw a javelin. And she agrees to do the interview with him, but she's just, she's so normal. You know, nothing that she says sounds forced. So that's probably why Izzy's gonna be the fan favorite. She's just so real and natural, right? Even if, I guarantee you, even if she says like a really weird line coming up later in the show, the way it comes out of her mouth is just gonna flow so naturally. <laughs> you show me a trick you learned in night training. <laughs> You're on, pal. Cool, cool, cool. Maybe not. <clears throat> so, as a character, as an actress, good job, Tessa. Keep it up. Y you're doing great for your first time. So, ooh, I'm, I'm excited. Um, and Javi, <laughs> he has to get the orb. The orb is magic. Uh, I don't know what it is with this family, but you guys, this family, this is a crazy family. So, Boom Tower shows up. He's the new monster. He shows up, gets the orb. Javi goes to hide, but then he decides to be a hero and he grabs the orb and then steals, uh, soon to find out his stepfather's truck. Uh, and then goes, you know, somewhere. But what, the weird thing was, the the park ranger, who is his stepfather, didn't say anything. He said, hey, like, don't take the truck or stop. But he didn't say, hey, Javi, or don't take my truck, boy, or something that makes us know it's his family. I don't get it, but in my mind, if my child was stealing a truck, I would say their name. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> so he takes the truck, the monsters leave because that's the whole reason they were there. <laughs> but, yo, mucus. 
I know I said I'm gonna call Mucus Cleon, uh, but for this episode, you earned it, Mucus. You earned it. Um, so this happens. Stop that car! So, uh, yeah, I feel like <laughs> when this happened, they were in the room, the writers were like, what's a good line right here? And so, yeah, that's, they thought it's morphin slime would work. Um, and it does. That is perfect line. I love it. Thank you. That line really just made the whole episode for me, like <laughs> hands down. Um, as weird as it was, it was perfect, perfect. Uh, the pacing and the timing of that line was just mm, so good. So good. Um, what are we talking about? We're talking about a show. <laughs> so the Rangers are talking to the park ranger because he takes a full hit from Boom Tower. Once again, this this whole family, like these, these folks is crazy. That belongs to the people of Pine Ridge. Put it down. How about I put you down? He takes the hit from the monster. Then you find out Izzy's his daughter, and then she goes, um, stepdaughter. He's your dad? Technically stepdad. Yo, the family drama? He sometimes trains me when he's not busy being the park warden. I, I'm, in, I'm here for this. I am here for family drama in Power Rangers. This is what makes good stories, because this is real life. Dad! Oof. You okay? That depends. That was practice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're fine. Uh, so you can tell this drama. So she throws that line in there. My dad doesn't like when he plays music, so he has to drive into the woods. Like, that's, that's perfect. Like, yes, give me more of this. This is what good storytelling is. Uh, this, this whole episode was so good. <laughs> they go to the forest, they find them. But see, here's the thing where it gets weird. Y'all, this is, okay. The one thing I didn't like about this episode, the one thing, Javi and Izzy, right? They're trying to keep the orb away from the monsters. And I don't, I, there are no words to explain this emotion in me, but this happens. And so I asked myself, if I was trying to keep something away from a monster, what would I do? Run. Uh, I would hide the object or even, see, uh, Hasbro, please listen to me. I, I'm not trying to be a, pro I'm not a professional writer. I'm not a movie director, but the easiest way you could have handled this situation, Javi trips, that's it, he trips. Have him run away and he falls. Like, <laughs> that's it. That, that's, that's my one thing I don't like about this episode. Instead of keeping the orb safe, he just smashes it. And it wasn't a like a Transformers situation where it's like, this thing is gonna blow up the world. <laughs> he just smashes it. Like, I don't understand what his motivation was there. I don't know. I don't know, maybe you can leave that below. What did you think of that moment when he just smashes the orb? <laughs> uh, it was really weird. And I'm totally fine with the, the dino keys being in there. They could have said something like, oh, this orb was found in a rock or it was excavated orb, just so we know like, okay, about dinosaurs. And the one thing this series is, is weird about it's making that connection to dinosaurs just because when they, you know, have their morph and they link to the morphing grid. They don't say anything about dinos. They don't say dino ranger morph or nothing like that. So to me, it's like they're, they're disconnecting themselves from dinosaurs. Just this random orb has the keys in it. And I'm okay with that. That part I'm fine with, but they didn't say like how it connects to dinosaurs or to magic. They could have said something like, you know, the man who found this was never seen again, or this was found near a statue of a dinosaur. You know, something like that, something like that. I'm not trying to be angry about it, but it's just like, mm. when you have an episode that's this good and then you do that one thing, it's like, uh, really? That's the thing that we didn't do? That's the thing. 
Uh, that's really the only thing I didn't like. Everything else in this episode was great. The choreography, uh, the fight scenes, the interactions between characters, like this episode was really good. Um, I don't have like a rating system or anything, but if I did, let me know if you want one. <laughs> I would definitely give this episode a 4.9 out of 5. Really just that, no, 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 4.5. Yeah, that's worth having a point. Just not explaining, making some sort of connection with the, the magic of the orb and dinosaurs. But I mean, this episode had so much in it. In 30 minutes, I feel as though they could have thrown something in there. So maybe that's just me. Um, but past that, they're all rangers, they demorph, everybody's friends. We all have a great time. So the good things about this episode, <laughs> call me crazy, but I actually really like <laughs> when the civilians are in danger. Um, not because I want people to be hurt, <laughs> but because it shows that like, oh, they actually like are evil. You know, a lot of the times the monster shows up in this random field and the rangers fight them and it's like, wait a minute, are you really that bad of a guy? Like we haven't seen you do anything yet. So you're questioning like how bad they are. So maybe that's just me. I like that. <laughs> Second, I already said the family drama, keep it up. I love interwoven stories. I think this is a great idea. That family, they crazy, all of them. The Garcias, they crazy. Uh, Izzy Javi, they daddy. I'm sure their mom gonna show up sometime later and she gonna wild out. <laughs> Those guys are great, great actors. Their lines are great, their delivery is great. Great job, Hasbro. And yo, uh, <laughs> for whatever reason, this was the most controversial thing about the season, her skirt. <laughs> Uh, they handled that literally two seconds. Hold that thought. Skirts aren't really my thing. Hey! Perfect. Another thing I actually really liked was the kind of comedy between Jane and J-Bot. Uh, I don't know, I'm weird and like I want her to look more like an android. She, like I don't think she looks enough like a robot to me or an android. She just looks like like a, she just got like Bluetooth headphones in, right? Like really big Bluetooth headphones. So she just looks like a normal person. I know she's an actress, but I mean, just make up like a line or like a little, you know, thing on her face. I don't know. <laughs> Put a wire, like let a wire dangle down, like like her hair. I don't know. But their comedy is really funny. Oh, it's not Victor and Monty, thank goodness. Onto the bad things. Uh, <laughs> as you already know, he broke the orb. It doesn't make sense to me. He didn't need to break it. I don't know why he did it. Another thing I didn't like, their morph takes a little too long. Maybe that's just me. Oh, I got a little bit bored. Just because they did it. Dino key. Link to the morphing grid. And then the black suits. I don't like black suits. And then they do the jumping thing. It just, it takes a long time for me. Um, maybe I'm impatient about it. Uh, I don't know, I feel like it, they could just make it faster, you know? If they can go dino key and then do it, right? Um, I'm thinking brave in. Brave in. But I know that's the wrong season. Dino charge. <laughs> dino charge, it goes like dino charge, power up, ha. That's it, you know? But then they do the whole suit thing. But at least it's like, down charge, power up, ah, that's it. Uh, but this one, there's like a lot of spaces in between the words. So to me, it just seems like, you know, and of course they're taking the time up for the episode. I get that. But those extra three seconds, you know, I'm just like. <sighs> and then the weirdest thing happens at the end of the episode. So Javi gets the job even though the orb was smashed. Fine, because he, he went to check it out, he looked at it, okay, fine. And then she called him brave, and we need brave people here at the buzz blast. All right, I'll take it. But then Zato? <laughs> I thought he would get the job, and he doesn't get the job because he didn't get the interview. Uh, he partially started it, but then, 
she was standing next to him. Like, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I don't know. This is weird for me. He He's standing next to Ig Izzy in the Buzz Blast headquarters with the CEO of Buzz Blast. And then she doesn't give him the job because he didn't interview her. But she's standing right next to him. It, like, there could have been a line like, oh, you missed the deadline and you didn't finish the interview in time and the paper has to go out today. So she could have said something in that moment to maybe save him the job. I don't know. Uh, but that's what it seemed like to me. To, to cap this all off on two good notes, one thing, <laughs> Iggy, Iggy, I keep on calling her Iggy because it's like Izzy Garcia, so I'm thinking Iggy. I might call her Iggy. That's her new nickname. But, uh, <laughs> so Iggy, uh, she's fighting Boom Tower and she goes, yo, we're vibing right now. And he's like, uh-uh, not with a teenager. Like, bruh, I don't think you know what that means. <laughs> I don't think she knew uh, what, what that meant to him. Um, I don't know, maybe vibing is different for monsters. Maybe it means something else. Like the, the very, very end of the episode, when they all go back to the base, they meet Solara, Solana, I don't remember her name, the cyborg dinosaur. Uh, when she introduces herself, she throws a little line in there. Like, oh, I surprise myself sometimes or something like that. I want a backstory on her. Give us Hasbro, give us a backstory on the cyborg dinosaur. We need to know who built her and how, because now y'all got me thinking what she can do, what are her powers, you know? So that's just me. And just like the Power Rangers, if you wanna be mobile and active, then you need to make sure you're working out. What better way to do that than to click this video right here, <laughs> my Power Rangers workout video, where I'm in cosplay working out. And while you're there, you might as well subscribe so you can see all of my cosplay workouts. I'll see you in the next video. And remember, your results show up when you do.